Hi everyone, my name is Caroline and today I want to share with you just a few MCAT test taking strategies that I use to help me score a 522. This is part four of my how to study for the MCAT video series. Links for part one, two, and three are above and below. Check them out. Okay, let's dive right in. Memorize key formulas for chem phys and spend the first minute of the section writing them out on your piece of scratch paper. Practice writing down a few key formulas that you frequently use or know you would like to have during the exam. My logic was that I was usually calm enough during the first minute of the chem phys section that I would remember the maximum amount of formulas. So it was better for me to write down everything that I could remember in that first minute so that I wouldn't need to panic and forget the formula when I encountered a relevant question 30 minutes later. For example, I always had the lens equations uh, written down and, and memorized as well as how concave and convex lenses worked because that stuff always tripped me up. During studying, I would run practice drills to see how many different formulas I could write down in one minute and adjust which formulas I wanted to prioritize writing down. Having trouble understanding a bio-biochem passage? Try drawing a diagram. I recall many of the bio-biochem passages explaining different experiments or different pathways that really all together just look like word vomit on the page. Drawing a diagram sometimes helped me better parse through what was going on by having that visual representation of that word vomit. <laughs> Learn to do calculations in scientific notation. I'm not particularly strong in math, but learning to do my calculations in scientific notation definitely helped me save time and frustration during the exam. Don't forget to study lab techniques. I think this is a question type that is easily answered if you memorize the conditions and procedures of several common lab techniques. I will link a great guide to reference down below. Know how to break down units. It's a super useful skill for converting answers and may even help you work backwards towards the correct answer. Also, understanding what comprises a specific unit, for example, how one newton equals one kilogram meter per second squared, can help you recognize relationships pertinent to the answer. Short and sweet, that's all I have for today. I hope you find these tips useful in your MCAT study journey. As always, thank you for watching, good luck studying, and see you in my next video. Bye!